What's up everybody? So today we're gonna to do a review of the Boundary Supply Errant Backpack. That right there. Um, today I'm doing a review mostly because I, I'm not a professional or anything. I like take things as a hobby. Um, this is mainly a backpack for when I go on holidays, go adventuring and I wanna take tech supplies with me. So I'm by no means a professional and I thought this would be a good thing to review for all the average people out there who are looking for a good backpack. So let's get into it. Now again, let's start with the fact that I'm not a professional. I just like carrying camera gear around for when I go uh, on hikes, when I go on holiday just to capture my everyday life. Um, I have watched a lot of reviews on this pack before I bought it uh, and none of them were really tailored towards a, an average person. Uh, a lot of them were for influencers or people who do photography as a job. So that's what I wanted to start on. First thing I want to talk about is the thing I noticed with a lot of those reviews, the one complaint everyone had uh, about the backpack was the magnetic clasps here on the front. Now, now that I'm saying it, it's going to be difficult, but it's definitely a two-handed job. So if you're looking for something you just rip open and close easily with one hand, that's not going to be it. But it's not nearly as bad as people are describing um, on their reviews where they can't get it in at all. If you're using two hands, it's a very easy just pull out, pull in. It's not that big a deal. So if that's something that's deterring you, don't let it. Um, and that's probably the biggest concern I had watching other reviews that was a deciding factor and I decided to take a chance on it and it's actually turned out really well. Um, I'm gonna go through the other things on the pack that I really like, starting with, as you can probably guess, the magnets. I really like magnets, I really like how they work. Not that we really know how they work, um, but yeah, no, I really like them. So on there, there's obviously that front big clasp, big magnet, um, ooh, one handed there. Um, there's this on the side, this clasp here. Um, which unbuckles and buckles again and stops you from opening the entire bag clamshell style all the way through. Um, I'm not going to go through all the specifics and little details of this bag. I'm sure this is probably the 600th review you've watched of it if you're looking at buying this bag so I'm just going to go through uh, all the other stuff. There's also the magnetic uh, sternum strap, actually put it on, the magnetic sternum strap here, which just goes across like that. Um, I am about 160 centimeters, I think that's about five, six, five, seven, I'm not too sure. Um, and this pack looks like that on me, and it fits really well when I have stuff in it. The straps are on the kind of firmer side, which I know a lot of people have mentioned on the firmer side, but they're not uncomfortable. They're, they've got a nice solid thickness to them. Yeah, those magnets are definitely a big plus for me. Um, the other things I really like are these little hooks on the front there. There, there, down here. And that, uh, that's for their modular system. I didn't actually buy any of the modules to go on them. Uh, I might in the future, but for now, those hooks are just handy because you can buy any uh, sort of accessory straps from your outdoor supply shop and they just hook right on. I've, I use the front to carry things like jackets or picnic rugs, uh, stuff like that. Uh, my other favorite pocket is on the side here. So you zip that down and inside, you've got a whole lot of little bits in there. So that's good for your mobile phone. I put my whole hand in there. Uh, pens, uh, wallets, things like that can go in there. Um, as well as when you're traveling, you've got a pocket that's Velcro on this side, or a passport pocket on this side that opens up. You can slide a passport in there. Um, it's not quite big enough to fit your entire hand in, but if you're just slotting your passport in and out, it's good enough. And the other really cool thing on here, if I can find it, is on this side. This strap that comes out, uh, and that can be used to hold a tripod or something in here, um, and it just clips across and holds that in. Um, inside the bag, obviously the main compartment, uh, you can access two ways. The first way is uh, you open up clamshell style, um, like this. And on this side, you've got 
your laptop pocket, so a really strong magnet on this side. Everyone talks about how strong it is. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to undo though, you just flick it up and you have a spot. It says you can fit a 15 inch uh, laptop in there. I've got a 13 inch that fits in pretty well, uh, really snugly really. Uh, 15 inch I'm sure would fit, but I have a, I think it's a 17 inch for work that doesn't fit in, a bit too big. So 15 inch is probably the max for this one, is what they listed as as well. Goes back up with a nice satisfying click. And you've also got a tablet one with another strong magnet here. Um, some people say they're worried about it being too strong and breaking the bag. Uh, with the quality of the build, I really don't think that'll be an issue. Uh, oh, that sounds so good. And then you also have these stretchy bits down the bottom to put your random assortment of things in, hard drives, things like that. Uh, if we turn to the other side, this is where if you bought any of the modular things, they sort of click in, so at the bottom. There's a bit of Velcro back here. I think the MK2 camera case uh, possibly clicks into there. And you've also got kind of these side pockets in here. I think they're for, I know, internal drink bottle holders, maybe a towel holder, some clothes holders, things like that. Um, and that's a nice big space there. It also can extend up uh, behind this excellent little half moon pouch. Uh, I generally put my laptop charger stuff in there which is pretty good. Um, so obviously that's the main compartment and I'll show you the top way of accessing it, which is up here with the magnetic flap, unclasp. And inside before you get to the main compartment actually there is a top little pocket up here. It's felt lined. Uh, for sunglasses or anything you don't want to scratch, usually I put my phone in there if it's not in my pocket. Uh, as well as open it up and that's back into your main compartment there. That you can also zip up as well. I've found that actually makes it easier to use the magnetic clasp if you zip it up. Uh, but I tend to just whack that back on and it's fine. The last compartment I forgot about actually is just on the bottom here. And you unzip that, and it's like a wet, wet water compartment, dirty clothes, shoes compartment. And that's waterproof in there. And that actually extends up into your main luggage space. Uh, so the annoying thing about that is if you put anything in there, it's going to take away from what's inside. Um, I generally just store random loose items in there, or if I have a dirty towel, socks, shoes, that's good for that. Um, and I also actually store the waist strap, which comes with a bag, usually attaches on the bottom. I don't really use it, so I take it off. But what I've noticed is, with these little clips, focus, little clips, you can actually use this on the front of the pack, on where these hooks attach and you can um, attach like a, your picnic rug to it or anything really. You can strap it on, wrap it around a few times and it'll clip back in on itself, uh, which is handy because I haven't gotten around to buying accessory straps for it yet. Uh, it also has this really rigid back, which I mean, I thought might be a little bit uncomfortable, but it's kind of foamy. Um, so it actually sits on your back really nicely and it helps to wick away any moisture. The other cool thing about it is that it stands up on its own uh, when it has things in it, of course. Um, it stands up on its own and it doesn't just flop. And yeah, I think that's it. I've had the bag for about a month now. I waited a while because of postage currently with COVID. Um, but when it came, I was really surprised that the build is really tough. These hook straps I didn't think would hold up, but I've stuffed these really big hooks in it a couple of times now and it's held up. Um, yeah, it's really good condition. I'm really happy with it. As an average consumer, I think it's a really good option. I looked at things like the Peak Design Everyday Pack, which I think in Australian dollars is about $300, $400, and other kind of higher end packs, uh, which as a hobbyist, I can't justify spending that much on a pack. But this came in with shipping to Australia at about $250. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, no complaints really, so good work boundary supply. I'll be recommending this pack to most people. Alright, thanks for watching, I'll see you later.